welcome back to No Place To Be. We've got an exciting video today. Today is the day that I get my bike for the first time since November last year. So what I've got to do today, I've got to drive to my parents, get my bike, drive back with my bike to my house, somehow be Carla's for a few days, but it means I get to go out on the bike with James. So today I'm getting my bike, tomorrow we're going on the best road in England with James and Matt, so it's looking going to be a great day. Stay tuned, it's going to be a great video. And just like that, we've got the bike back to mine. So what we're going to do tomorrow is I'm meeting Matt at about 10 o'clock in the morning. We're going through to the Peaks to meet James. We're going to tune over to James now and how his morning is going. Uh, before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're closing in on a 1,000 subscribers. It means a lot to us. Uh, so thanks for the support, those who have subscribed. And for those who haven't, hit that button. So in this video, we're going to be touching on the TomTom Tom 550 Rider, which is right here for your viewing pleasure. So I've had this unit for as long as I've had the bike. Um, I'm somebody who quite likes to know where they're going and doesn't like to get lost, um, especially when I need to be somewhere. So I made sure I had a, uh, a GPS unit ready to go as soon as I passed my test and had this bike. So I've had this now for about a year and a half. I've done about 8,000 miles with it uh, and I do a little bit of review in today's video talking about this is it worth the money is it useful what are my thoughts so got it on the tri speed twin we're gonna have a great day riding and hopefully with my new setup I'll be able to talk all about it while I'm riding okay so first things first you get a TomTom -tom inbuilt ram mount that goes on the handlebars so I personally find this really really useful it's uh, incredibly secure um, bolted solution onto the handlebars uh, it doesn't seem to scuff up the handlebars too much you can put something as a protector on there if you'd like because uh, it does attach quite tight but this is uh, where the, the money becomes worthwhile it's a wireless charging mount there and if i just do this one hand your tom tom sits on the back slides down and the screen should pop up now because it charges wirelessly so as you can see we've got the waterproof connection here and that goes down through the cable thread or the the cable ties under the tank and it's charged by the battery under the seat so it's completely waterproof charging system uh, and that is fantastic for what I need because it's gonna be um, in power for at, well forever it's got an eight hour battery life which is great in itself but if you're out and about it's always going to be charging which is really really handy to know and definitely a strong asset of this uh, TomTom -tom mounting unit. Right guys, so this is how you search for a destination. So today I'm meeting Matt and Alex in Matlock for the first time. So I'm just gonna type in Matlock Bath. We've got the center there. And that's where I want to ride to. So hit ride. And it pings up my location and takes me to Matlock. So as I can see, it's gonna be, if it's set off now, it's 9.42, get there at 10.25. So it's about a, um, you know, 40, 50 minute ride. Uh, if we're not happy with the route, what we can do is we can go on current route and we can press find alternatives. So this for me is where the TomTom -tom becomes really worthwhile and quite handy. So if you're fed up with doing the same routes all the time, uh, it gives you th uh, three options. So you can go sort of through Derby, which will be boring, so that'll be the A38. You can go the pink or you can go the purple. So, um, you know, I think I might like the look of uh, the purple. So I'll select that and it will tell me how long it's going to take to get there. So it's going to take an hour and 10 minutes if I go that route. Um, if you want to go even more in detail, what you can do is you can go on settings uh, and you can go on route planning. Uh, and this is where you get all your options for how you want to get there. So you can go take me the fastest route, um, fastest route, shortest route, most eco-friendly route, winding route, bicycle route. So if I click winding route, for example, and I always have these presets, so avoiding motorways, tunnels, unpaved roads, etc. Um, and now let's press go. It will find me the windiest possible road uh, to get there. So if I go on current route, find alternatives, it's going to give me three options for like really windy routes to get there, which might be a bit of fun. Obviously, they're going to take longer than the quickest routes um, with no motorways, but they might be a bit more, bit more fun. So that's obviously what motorbiking is all about. And uh, you know, a really strong selling point at this TomTom. -tom 
you'll always get new new ways of getting somewhere and it won't just be boring so you see you've got three options there they all look quite windy you can look at which which routes they go uh, but personally because i need to get there on time i'm just going to go back uh, edit the settings again settings route planning i'm going to pick the fastest route select that take a look again at the three fastest routes with no motorways find alternative so i'm in burton on train at the moment and we've got those options there so i'm probably going to go with the the pink one just because i've not got loads of time so that should do us nicely it's going to take about an hour to get there uh, so i'll set off very shortly and i'll have the new comms system on so you should be able to hear me talking while we're doing the videos which is another channel upgrade right then guys welcome back all things being well this setup should now be recording my audio through the external purple panda microphone because we've now got the media mod installed on the GoPro so channel upgrades there's more to come I can't record the full group conversation today but stick around because that may be coming ever so shortly so we're riding now through to Matlock and I've already excited I've got that feeling in my belly that seeing Matt and Bannum for the first time on the bikes since um, I think, was it the NC500? I think I've not seen, I've not met them both on the bikes since we did the NC500 back in June 22. So well overdue ride today. Um, can't wait, you know. Just one of those days where you get on the bike and you truly feel alive. I don't think there's much in modern day life that, you know, makes you really feel like you're living anymore. But getting on the motorbike and having a great time just is absolutely up there. And taking us on to the topic of today's video after the little introduction I already did, the TomTom Tom 550. So as you can see, it's sitting there on the dash doing its thing. So it's got Matlock plugged in. And uh, I have to say, it saved my bacon quite a few times. So, um, you know, it's got us all around the NC500 in parts of the UK where signal would otherwise be absolutely terrible. I mean, signal on your mobile phone would drop, but the inbuilt GPS of the TomTom -tom still holds true. Very nice, so yeah. It's very reliable. It's always pulling a signal, no matter where I've been in the UK, and like I said, I've done all the NC500 and Sky and everywhere, and it is fully international as well. So if we do want to take it to Europe, we just have to download a European map, and it's good to go. Uh, it does display your live speed at the bottom, shows all speed camera information, shows where all the nearest fuel stations are, shows if there's any roadworks, uh, all the key information. The fuel station thing is really handy, so when you're on route, it'll always say, oh, there's a fuel station coming up, which is, again, the NC500 was very useful because um, they're few and far between, and if you can only get 160, 170 miles out of a tank, you need to make sure you're filling up. So that is top, top notch, and uh, as you can see, got the heated grips on definitely one of the best things I've done to this bike well one of the only few things I've done really um, definitely keeps your hands warm on on cold days so we're still in February got them on medium heat they're kicking out lots of heat if you put these on full they'll literally burn your hands off so um, Oxford definitely do a good job and they're very and they're much warmer than the Triumph ones that you could get as an added extra or that come standard on other Triumphs like the T120 for example so a little bit frustrating that the, the heated grips don't come standard on the Speed Twin, but if you get the heated grips from Oxford, um, they are very warm and it just takes a little bit of wiring in and gluing on, but if you're somewhat com competent, you'll be absolutely fine. But, uh, oh, what a day. I just want these, this 60 road to open up. Because this biker, as you can see in front, he's, he, ain't, he ain't waiting around. beautiful day so really Tom Tom I think I paid about 250 300 quid for it and uh, for me it's absolutely worthwhile you could just get a, um, a quad lock a wireless quad lock and that would be great for the vast vast majority of, of people um, I do think Google Maps is better system for searching things so for example meeting at a cafe today it doesn't recognize business names so if you try and like put cafe name in and stuff like that it won't it won't do it but if you put an overall place name or an exact postcode it's spot on so if you use it in 
with a smartphone for example if you know exactly where you want to go on the smartphone put the postcode in um, and it should come up on the on the uh, the TomTom -tom. uh, so that would be my recommendation make sure you have your Google Maps on for pinpointing exact locations but this will this will do the rest in terms of getting to that smaller proximity zone um, so yeah I'm gonna keep riding on through to Matlock Tom Tom's great would recommend if you can afford one um, it does also twist as well so it can go portrait like this should catch up with us so there we go portrait like that or you can go landscape put it back again personally I just leave it in landscape King William that's a nice pub nice stony area that's the benefits of the peaks so yeah I've been living living in Southampton for three and a half years and uh, this was always the dream to meet up with Matt and Alex regularly and now it almost feels unreal that we've all got triumphs like two T120s and a speed twin beautiful modern classics and we can just meet up in this beautiful part of the world and we're all it only takes us 40 minutes to reach each other uh, yeah it just puts a smile on my face uh, like buying these bikes that was always the plan now we can pump out so much more content for everyone and make these these vlogs so hopefully you're enjoying it we're really trying to reach a thousand subscribers at the moment so we're about a hundred off and uh, make sure you hit that button ring the bell you know what to do like the video comment as always we love seeing the comments uh, and I'll catch you ever so shortly one other really good feature of the TomTom -tom that I forgot to mention is the the TomTom -tom app or the community app and you can download tours or routes that have been done by other community members straight onto your TomTom -tom. so you someone has done one in Wales for example um, looks like a great route and I'm just gonna copy that and just paste it straight into my uh, my unit and then we've got a tour ready to go that we just lock straight onto and um, it's got all the best roads uh, there's also ones preset by TomTom -tom themselves um, all over UK internationally Europe New Zealand for example yeah, he's a cute nice little dog walk um, so yeah it's a very useful thing and I would I rate it very highly definitely need some sort of system if you're gonna be on a bike exploring Finally, we've got some decent roads. All right, let's go. Let's leave this on. Let's have some fun, boys. Let's have some fun. So what a speed twin is for. Thrashing round these sort of roads. The back lanes, the British highway. Let's go. Gotta watch out for cars, though. I actually think you're safer on a bike than on a car on a lot of these roads. Because if you think about it, if you go fast on a car, or in a car, there's a way bigger chance you're going to slam into something going around the corner. What, whereas if you're a bike, you only take up a small part of the road. So if you're sticking to the sides, there's a car coming around the corner. You're in a much safer position, in my opinion, than a car. Obviously, if you do get hit, you are you are a, little, a lot more risk than a car. But I think the chances of getting hit are lower if you catch my drift. And this is Matlock. So this is a um, very pretty little town. I think it's the capital of Derbyshire. So, I've only been here once, never been on the bike, and Matlock Bath is just a little subsection of Matlock, and it's even more idyllic. Very, very popular with bikers. So, let's see how many we see, see how many barriers we see today. Okay. Turns out, guys, if you leave your uh, your bike in a garage for three months, your tyre pressures go down. So, make sure you check them. So, uh, yeah, no excuse not to be getting uh, knee down on some of these uh, peak roads now. So, here's Matt on his Ace Cafe Edition T120. Banham in the background. It has been a while. Got Banham here. He's loving it. Thrust action. Again, another T120. Black. Rattler seat though. Slightly different to Matt's. Three sexy bikes. Three sexy persons. Now we're going to ride to Cat and Fiddle. Uh, supposed to be a good good biker road and uh, quite quite a fast. Is it high up that road, Matt? On yeah. tops. twisty altitude oh, that's good right then so now I've got some tire pressure in should be uh, good to go what a great shot got Bannon there chats off next to him nah just riding around it it's all on GoPro mate don't worry about it fans are absolutely loving it so guys, I know you can't hear the, the comms chat yet, but we're just discussing all future merch that you're going to want to buy. 
as we ride on into Chatsworth House. Beautiful. Not a bad view, is it? Alright guys, just had a nice little stop at Monsell Viewpoint while cruising on through, is it to Bakewell, Matt? Oh, Buxton. Cruising on through to Buxton and then on to the Cat and Fiddle. So, what a day. What a ride. Give us a little wave with your arse bottom for the fans. Oh, yes. Love to see it. Oh, I love it. Love it. Yum. Wheelie's done it. Yeah. Well, let's just put put for here, it's on. Wow. Fantastic. Look at this. It's like we're in Rome. Rye, son of Rome. Whoa. Where are we, Matt? We are in the town of Buxton, in the centre of the Peak District. Lovely, lovely. Three stunning bikes, and dare I say, three stunning boys to go with it. Well. I'm a stunning boy. <laughs> uh, you guys can't call me the fat one anymore, okay? I've lost 10 kilograms. Yeah, guys, right, guys, we're on the Cat and Fiddle Road. What's it called, Mark? Do you know? It's an unknown road that goes to Manchester, but by God, is it? Is it nice? Buxton to Manchester Road. What animal? You're an animal. What a run. So gents, would you like to sum up today's ride? Today's ride has been absolutely fantastic. Bikes have been good as well. He's zooming in on my massive nose. Oh wow. We'll go sideways, put it on, look at that. Take your eye out of that. Uh, and just to wrap up today, a seagull. <laughs> Right then guys, just had an amazing ride with Matt and Bannum. Some of those roads through Bakewell to the Cat and Fiddle. 
that's probably the best run I've ever done in England. Those roads just lend themselves amazingly for the bike and had such a blast doing that. And now I'm on my way back to Burton, just had a coffee, so I'm feeling good. And again, amazing day on the bike in February, loads more rides to come and cannot wait for more, even better weather, sunshine, all that jazz. So I'm gonna follow Mr. Tesla over the bridge. And again, got the Tom Tom leading me home. Didn't need it when I was Martin Bannum because they obviously know the peaks like the back of their hands. Whereas I need this just to make sure I'm on the right way. So got it on the way back. Nice little route that I've not done before. Again, one of the assets of the Tom Tom, just different route, different time. It's fantastic. Absolutely loving this setup. And uh, soon we will have the parts so that you can listen to the group chats as we all talk. So I've been watching all these moto vloggers and I've been listening to how they do their videos and you can hear all their, their group chats and stuff and that would be great. You could listen to us having some laughs while riding that would take the channel to new new heights so absolutely love it I'll have a nice ride back now and you'll all see see me took away the bike for bedtime right then guys that is a wrap speed twin all back safe and sound simply don't have enough good things to say about this bike just absolutely love it second ride of the year now and the more I ride it the more I just fall in love with this bike going over those roads today past the cat and fiddle just really show how amazing it is it's got all the looks but it turns in so so well and that usable power band and the torque is just so so nice uh, I'd just say if you like the look of this bike just go and test ride it because it's just it just ticks all the boxes in my opinion it feels sporty it looks amazing you got all this room for luggage if you want to do a little tour obviously We've, it's not for everyone for a touring bike but it's certainly good enough if you're just doing it by yourself and you can have a couple of weeks on the road with your mates as, as we've shown on the channel it's just a fantastic bike and there's going to be tons more videos displaying that for you all so hopefully you've enjoyed the video stick around, you know what to do subscribe, like, comment and stay tuned for the next one signing out